have an extremely strong opinion on that is ultimately unimportant. There should be a federal law that if the manufacturer puts a sticker on a product, that sticker must be easily removed by the consumer with no residue left. In The Force Awakens, when Chewie and Rey return from their Starkiller base, Leia sadly realizes Han was killed, so she hugs Rey, not Chewbacca, Han's closest friend and someone Leia has known for years. It's bullcrap. Leia should have hugged Chewie. Chewie also didn't get a medal at the end of A New Hope. Clearly, Leia has something against him. Every construction site on which a new building is being built should have a sign facing the street that tells folks what that building will be when it is completed. And over here, somewhere in Europe, they do because the law makes them put up a sign detailing the building company, amount of floors on the building, the purpose of the building, rendered picture of the building, the chief engineer for the project, as well as estimated date of completion. Why do you have to register for damn near everything now? I had to register for GoPro's app just so I could use the camera. And pretty much everything else these days asks you to register. News site? Register pop-up before you can read the article. Saving Private Ryan lost Best Picture to Shakespeare in Love. It still makes me angry and it's been like 20 years. The dishes in my house should be placed so they take up the least amount of space. Apparently, the rest of the household likes to think otherwise. I am adamant that when you close a plastic or Ziploc bag, there should be no air inside. When I see people close a bag with lots of air inside, it makes me very unsettled. Pay to win has ruined the online gaming experience for sports games. If you live in a country that drives on the right-hand side of the road, you should keep right on the footpath. Allows for overtaking and less congested paths. Radio commercials should be banned from having any car sounds, honking, crash noise, or sirens. Too many times I've looked to see who is honking and then I realize it's the ad. I don't like using the word dongle in everyday out loud speech. Why the hell does satellite radio have commercials? What the hell am I paying you guys for? That really grinds my gears. Vanilla is an amazing flavor and everyone treats it like it's just some basic crap that's expected. It's complex and rich and just a delicious flavor, but then we go around and describe the dullest and boring and normal things as vanilla, and it totally detracts from the flavor. Chocolate ice cream is good, and ice cream with things in it is okay, but if I had to choose only one ice cream flavor for the rest of my life, I'd choose vanilla in a heartbeat. Go take your chunky monkey somewhere else. Boneless buffalo wings are not wings. They are chicken nuggets in wing sauce. Websites that automatically sign you up for their crap spam list. Just don't assume that I am interested in every little update from you for a lifetime just because once I made the mistake of using your site for two minutes. Now they ask for Chrome notifications. Google dragged me here because no one else has what I want. I don't want your crappy clickbait on my desktop all the time. I barely put up with it for Facebook and I kind of like Facebook. You toss off. Lately, there's a new kind of cancer when it comes to notifications. Some script on the page monitors your mouse and just when it goes out of the page, it shows a full page vibrating notification asking you to sign up for some crap. And even more egregious implementations include pop-up notifications with options like, yes, sign me up and no, I don't like to save money instead of a simple yes and no. Laugh tracks. If it's funny, I'll laugh. If it's not funny, you playing a recording of people laughing won't convince me. Tuna is tuna. Don't call it tuna fish. Fellow ladies, please don't hover when you use a public toilet. In your awkward attempt to not get ass cancer from a once dry toilet seat, you left a smattering of piss for the next person to clean up or unwittingly sit in. Also, people who leave about half a roll of TP in the bowl without flushing, what the hell is wrong with you? Pianos should be tuned at least once per year, even if they're not played regularly. Otherwise, the strings become brittle and the tuning pins become unresponsive to holding the pitch firmly in place. And please, for the love of God, rent a violin from the violin shop for 20 bucks a month instead of trying to bring your $90 eBay violin to lessons. $90 models are incapable of holding their tuning and will only frustrate you, especially if you're a beginner. And my students wonder why they sound terrible on the $100 flutes they bought at Costco. Of all places, spoilers, it's because they can't play a D in any octave, and the foot joint keeps falling off. Pockets in women's clothing, sewn shut all the time, and even if you open them, they're still tiny. 
completely impractical. It's all a marketing ploy to force women to buy purses since we have nowhere else to put our phones, wallet, and keys. My girlfriend just bought a dress that has really deep pockets. She looked so happy when she tried it on and discovered the pockets as she'd just gotten the best news or a raise or something. People who cannot cue. Watermelon eating contests. I've never been in one myself and I never would. Why sign up for such a goddamn sham? It's not an eating contest at all. They should at least be honest and call it a slam and grind your face against a watermelon as hard and as fast as you can contest. Every time the winner is just some guy who just pushes his face against the watermelon so that it all breaks apart and liquefies and falls to the floor around him. Meanwhile, there's always another contestant sitting beside the winner who was a good, honest, upstanding citizen genuinely trying to eat it and was about five bites in and you can just see his naive faith in humanity is shattered in this dumbfounded look on his face as a judge lodged this blockhead next to him who just splattered his watermelon all over the floor. And if it isn't bad enough that the charlatans running these operations allow this to happen, the crowds all cheer and ooh and ah and share videos online where more people continue to comment about how crazy awesome it is someone could eat so fast. Jesus Christ, open your eyes, sheeple! If you're the mayor of a city or town, you should live in the freaking place. The mayor of my city lives a city over. How the hell can you decide what's best for the community if you're not even a part of it? Peacocks. They're just pigeons in drag and think they're so freaking special. I was pecked as a child. I too was traumatized by a peacock as a child. It was chasing me around a garden until it got distracted by its reflection in a mirror and stopped to attack that instead. LOL. As a chef, I hold two strong but unnecessary opinions. One, when using steel on a knife, it's not sharpening, it's honing. You use a stone to sharpen. Two, just because you're using a grill doesn't mean it's barbecue. <laughs> cookies and cream filled Oreos, like Oreos, are already cookies with cream. I know it tastes different, but it irks me every time I see them mentioned, and I don't know why. Telemarketing should be illegal. It's annoying. It's basically harassment. Getting three to four phone calls at 9 a.m. on your free Friday is not a fun way to wake up. And no, I don't want to buy the healing power of crystals for a really good price. I have reached a point where I just don't answer my phone if the number isn't saved in my phone book or is hidden. I suffer from mild anxiety, and I feel bad after I just close the call. I've moved beyond the politeness point where you say no almost infinitely. I shouldn't feel bad because most telemarketers are just glad they don't have to waste their time but I still feel guilty. The thing is that you're expecting an important phone call and accidentally answer a telemarketer instead. Then your number seems to move up in their list, like bright red alerts go off in their system. We found a blockhead who answered. Let's all bombard that number, because once you answer that number, you start getting three to four calls a day for weeks. Sliced bread. Oh my God, sliced bread is one of the highest forms of capitalist control. Everyone's all like, X is the best thing since sliced bread. You know what that is? Brainwashing. Straight up brainwashing. What you gotta do at least once in your life, you gotta buy a full loaf of bread. You gotta buy that, cut yourself a thick hunk of yeast, pop that bad boy in the toaster, and butter it up real good. It's liberating. I swear you'll never go back to that thinly sliced tower of greed and lies. Bonus points if it's Irish batch. Breakfast of a true rebel. Frick sliced bread. How much I freaking hate the minions. I really despise them, but most people love them or do not care that I hate the ever-living crap out of them. In my opinion, they were cute in the first movie before they got individual personalities and were just a horde of brainless yellow Tic Tacs. They were a funny concept, but as soon as people realized that they were marketable as hell, which was likely the plan all along, they just kind of overused what I saw as a joke you shouldn't overexpose. I'd say even in the second movie, they were all right. Then they got their own movie and they had to find a way for them to carry a movie. I don't hate them, but it's clearly cashing in on something kids latched onto. Charging for public toilets is against human rights and is discriminatory against people with certain disabilities. Public toilets, especially those in train stations, fast food restaurants, etc., that earn an income should be free. The flying Koopa Troopas are not ducks with shells, as my wife asserts, but turtles with wings. There should be no red lights from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m., unless they are absolutely needed. I drive a truck for a living, and it's infuriating having to sit for two minutes when I'm the only vehicle around. 
I don't like being around people when they're smoking weed. I don't care that they smoke weed. I think weed should be legal. I just intensely don't care for people who are high. It doesn't affect me in any practical way. I just really freaking don't like it. You don't itch a mosquito bite. You scratch it because it itches. It's not that difficult. You could be itching to scratch your itch, but you can't be itching to itch your itch. Don't include an option to upload a resume if you're going to force the applicant to manually type in all of the information on the resume anyway. Holy crap, I hate this so much. Especially when it pulls the info from your resume, but it fricks it all up, so it takes you longer to fix it than it would have to just type it all in in the first place. Sharknado is not a so bad it's good movie. What makes a movie so bad that it's good, in my opinion, is that the people making it thought what they were making was good. They thought the choices that they were making were good choices, but they weren't good choices, they were bad. Even laughably so. The reason the room is so bad, it's good, it's partly from the absurdity that the director thought his choices were genuinely good, even though they were bad. My point is, they have to have the intent of making a good movie for a movie to be so bad it's good. The people who made Sharknado knew it was bad. They were purposefully trying to make it bad. They were trying to manufacture a movie like Troll 2 or Birdemic, but you can't manufacture something like that on purpose. They tried to recreate it with Birdemic 2 and it didn't work. You can't fake something like that. People who could care less. Sirens should be illegal to play on radio commercials. I can't count the number of times I've mistaken them for actual sirens and started looking around to see where they were coming from. Kids shouldn't have smartphones. Allow me to clarify. Like many of you have said, I don't believe kids should have smartphones. I define kids as 12 and under. Elementary school age certainly should not have cell phones of any sort. I would be fine with parents getting their kids a dumb phone in middle school as a way to keep in contact. Like some people below said, something that allows calls out and SMS to mom and dad and a friend or two. A monitored smartphone around 14 would be okay in my eyes. It's the kids 12 and under with fully functioning smartphones that blow my mind. So-called king size candy bars. I don't know who decided that a king would totally be fine with slightly more candy and that's it. What royalty would really say, you know what, I'm feeling luxurious. I think today is a day for four Reese's Cups and two slightly smaller Snickers bars. If you want to call something king size, it should be at least an entire pound of candy. It infuriates me that real kings everywhere haven't stood together in the face of the Hershey Corporation trying to dictate their desires. People should let all the passengers off of an elevator before boarding. In Beauty and the Beast, Gaston has a line during a song where he says he ate four dozen eggs as a kid. That's 48 eggs. How is that not talked about? The difference between a dragon and a wyvern. A dragon has four legs and two wings. A wyvern has two legs in the rear and two wings, which it uses as its front legs. Smaug in the Hobbit movies? Wyvern. Skyrim dragons? Wyverns. Dragon Age is one of the only big games in recent memory to get it right. A few people have asked which canon or mythology I based my statement on. My preferred dragon lore is Dungeons & Dragons and Pathfinder. My statement above was very general, but I'm always happy to get in depth for some dragons. So in D&D, dragon is a creature type that includes dragons, drakes, wyverns, linorms, and a whole host of other draconian creatures. The stereotypical dragons that you see on book covers and such are called true dragons. They are mainly divided into two groups based on the color of their scales. Chromatic dragons are red, blue, green, white, or black, and are evil. Metallic dragons are gold, silver, brass, bronze, or copper, and are good. True dragons are also highly intelligent and powerful spellcasters. That's what sets them apart from a lot of their lesser, more bestial kin, such as wyverns. I am still so mad that they replaced the lime skittles with those piece of crap green apple ones. One of them somehow masks the flavor of every other piece in the bag. Why? What was wrong with lime? What the hell do we have to do to get the original Skittles back? Lime is back at Walmart for a limited time, according to their Facebook page. Toilet rolls should always be facing toward you. If I'm pregnant, do not, for the love of God, touch my stomach without permission. I mean harmless in the grand scheme of things, but it's so invasive and I can't stand it. Leaving a flyer on someone's windshield or on their door should be considered littering and the person slash company who placed it there should be responsible or liable. 1. American public school teachers should be considered federal employees. 
There should be a set minimum educational requirement to become a teacher, and they should be paid according to the GS pay scale, a lot more than they are currently getting paid. 2. Police officers should be required to live in the district they patrol. I think people would be more willing to speak to an officer about criminal activity in their community if they saw the officer on a regular basis and have a rapport with them. Officers would be more inclined to protect and serve instead of enforce laws. There's a difference. If they have a vested interest in the community and the people therein. I dislike the word irregardless and the people who use it. People shouldn't be using social media to make themselves appear to be having a happy life. The odd complaint or funny picture is cool. I consider Facebook to be like an address book, and that's about it. People who regularly check into places, post every meal they eat, upload pictures of them at a party, it just seems like they're trying too hard. It seems like they're missing the moment by stopping and taking pictures. Live life, don't upload it. The last Harry Potter movie ended with Harry breaking the Elder Wand and throwing it off a bridge, which is not what happened in the book. He didn't even fix his own wand first. Why would they do this to me personally? Don't get me started on how badly they messed up the ending of the last movie. What happened to all of the helpers who showed up? And Grop? And the centaurs and house elves and hippogriffs joining the fight? And then, they took out the fight between Voldemort, Slughorn, McGonagall, and Shacklebolt. And then, instead of an awesome one-on-one -on -one confrontation in front of everyone, Harry defeats Voldemort outside in the courtyard, where no one is watching? Then he goes back inside and I guess everyone just assumes he won? Don't get me started, man! Voldemort dies and dissolves into smoke? Like what? He is supposed to lay there dead so everyone could see him humanized. God damn it! Apple. I dislike the brand with a passion, but ultimately it's pretty pointless and doesn't affect me in the slightest. I was forced to use a Mac for my job. My earthy, crunchy boss thought it was cool, and eventually got banned from the helpline. They told my boss that I referred to it as a toy computer. I said I don't remember exactly what I said, but I would never have used the word toy. That would imply fun. Parents who let their kids kick the back of a seat at a sporting event or performance slash movie should be jailed. The door to access the toilets in bars slash restaurants, etc. should open outwards. Maybe it's just a UK thing, but after I've washed and dried my hands, I have to use a handle that must be covered in residue from hundreds of people that haven't washed their hands. Why not just put the hinges the other way around? Pisses me off every time. Adding to public restrooms, there shouldn't be a two-inch gap between the door and the wall. I don't want people peeking in at me while I'm using the toilet. I don't agree with teaching children stupid names for their body parts. I sometimes think people out there think that if their child ever learns the word vulva, they will go around trying to screw anything that moves. People often treat the true names for genitalia and such like swear words, and sometimes I worry that this will give children unhealthy feelings and views on their body and sexuality when they are old enough to have views and feelings. I don't think children knowing the proper terms takes away from their childhood or makes them, as I said before, more promiscuous or anything. I just think stupid nicknames are weird, needless, and kind of creepy. I think it's especially screwed up when you can't use the word in the right situation and context to another adult as an adult. GIF stands for Graphics Interchange Format, not Graphics Interchange Format. I don't care how the inventor pronounces it, he's wrong. Unfrosted Pop-Tarts should be categorized as a hate crime. Humans owe fruit an apology for creating seedless fruit. Plants were like, hey my dudes, I'll create food for you. No charge. The only thing I ask in return is that you poop the seeds out and help me create more plants in more places. And hey, that means more food for you too. Humans obviously had the better end of the deal and we still went, nah bro, we're gonna selectively breed and splice you for generations just to create an infertile version of you so that we don't have to do the one thing that you asked of us. People are not walking on the correct side of the sidewalk when someone is walking towards you. It's the same concept as driving. If you're using a shared microwave, clear the time off of it when you're done. The foil on butter slash creams, etc. should be removed in its entirety instead of just peeled back slightly. Also, there should be a tab to pull it off, so I'm not stabbing the middle and ripping it apart. I get very irritated at expensive houses for sale if the kitchen does not have a range hood. Hotel rooms or apartments should always be numbered based on their floor. First floor, 101. Second floor, 201. 
semicolons. My English professor once said they are going out of style and will be almost obsolete within the next 20 years or so. I think they are fantastic writing devices. I use them whenever possible. Snapchat filters or filters in general. I don't mind interesting effects or artistic photography, but heavily filtered pictures where features are blurred into some formless blob and eyes and features are cartoonishly imposed over them are soulless and unsettling to me. I also have to override my looks like a corpse marionette freakout response when encountering people with Botox. Looks like rigor mortis. Pretty much anything that looks human but has something completely off. Country music is not country, it's southern pop. Singing a pop song with a drawl and referencing country things does not make it country. Planet Fitness. Why do you not have paper towels in the bathroom? You make us use them to clean off the machines, so don't try to sell me with that trying to save the trees signage above your crappy hand dryers. Put the coin change in my hand before the bills, otherwise the coins slip and slide everywhere. Cereal before milk. I will fight until my last breath for this cause. I'm ultimately faster at walking than most people I know, and I always get dirty looks for trying to overtake people on a path. We should have fast walk lanes. Swords don't make that shing sound when you pull them out of a scabbard. Stop doing it, movie making people. Also stop putting swords on people's backs. You are never going to get that thing out without undressing. It looks silly. Look, you cannot have the AC on in the car when you have the windows down. You have to pick either one or the other. AC with the windows down is a literal waste as the AC just pours right out of the car. Yes, you feel it on your skin for a second, but then it goes out the window. Waste of gas, waste of energy, waste of increased entropy, waste of everything. Pick a side, AC or windows down. Easter egg Reese's are better than the regular Reese's. I hesitate to post this here because this is more of a fact than an opinion. Suspenders and belts don't need to be worn together, ever. News articles saying just. President Trump just created a new executive order that outlaws freedom. NASA just announced discovery of a new star to go along with the thousands of other ones. In two hours, the just becomes irrelevant because nobody just did anything. Bagged milk. I grew up on the west coast of Canada and all of our milk is sold in cartons or jugs. I've been studying in Ontario now and nearly all milk is sold in bags. Why? 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 Liquids take the shape of their containers. That's why pretty much every drink is in hard plastic or paper or some variation. There isn't even a part of the bag that has more structure to it so it can stand up. So you also have to have your own pitcher to put the bag in. And every time your bag of milk runs out, there's a whole process of getting it into the pitcher correctly. You have to shake it a bit so no air gets trapped, otherwise the bag will shift and the milk could spill. And then you have to cut the bag open. Personally, I prefer to open up a carton and pour my damn milk. I can't see any benefits to having it, and it infuriates me and everyone I bring up this point to. Jersey numbers should have a structure. In soccer, especially during international tournaments like the World Cup, etc., Squad numbers are 1 to 23, with 1 through 11 defining a position for the most part. In any other sport, and the jersey numbers don't have any significance other than being the player's favorite number. Every time I voice this opinion, people don't know how to respond because it's the most pointless rant. Payday loans, auto title loans, and any other predatory lending should be against the law. T-shirts and polos should have no logos of the manufacturer on them. I don't buy any of those that have made me look like a moving ad. First-person shooters need to be played with a keyboard and mouse, not a controller. Tractors should be banned from the road between 7 a.m. and 10 a.m. and then between 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. They travel slowly and cause tailbacks and misery for commuters. I actually loved Batman and Robin. It's unimportant because I've yet to meet anybody who also liked it. I hate fireworks. They're boring to look at and noisy to listen to. The only thing stupider than fireworks are people who take pictures of fireworks. Who's going to want to look at that picture? Voting booths in the United States should remove all party names from the ballots and the names should be randomized, thus forcing voters to do their research before making a decision. The Oxford comma. It's simple, it's easy, and it must be used to understand certain things. 
Ben and Jerry's ice cream. I don't think it's very good, yet everyone is in love with it. The reason why they have insane flavors with a whole bunch of candy in it is because the base ice cream itself just isn't very good, and they need to spruce it up somehow. Grilled cheese must be cut diagonally. Any other way is barbaric. Cats aren't mean. They are lovely, perfect creatures. Orange juice should have juicy bits in it. If you can't handle the pulp, you can get out. That the only correct way to leave the toilet is with its lid down. Breakfast and people who claim to skip it. If you eat, then you are breaking your fast, and that meal becomes your breakfast regardless of what time of day it is. Wearing heavy perfume or cologne should be banned in public spaces. I can't stand smelling someone else's synthetic odor, and because sometimes it can trigger a migraine for me and many other migraine sufferers. Beauty and the Beast is a case of Stockholm Syndrome and nobody seems to notice. People who go to nice steakhouses and ask for ketchup to dip the steak into. When we go to visit my in-laws, my aunt-in-law does this and it makes me cringe. I have to hold back the urge to ask her what the frick she's doing. Toilet paper should be placed on the wall with the end of the roll facing front always. Being aware of other people, either in construction traffic or your local grocery store. If you need to stop and check your receipt, do not block the walkway or the doorway out. Also, don't stop in the middle of a crosswalk at a store to chat. To me, that's inconsiderate and there are plenty of places out of the way to have that chit chat. Pickles should never be served with anything, otherwise their juices from hell touch food and ruin it. Cheez-Its have no substitute. Cheese nips and store brand generics have no place even in the same sentence. Stop calling a computer a CPU. I've never bought Starbucks. When I was growing up in Eastern Canada, the biggest coffee chain was a Canadian company called Second Cup. When Starbucks expanded into Canada, they opened up stores next to literally every single Second Cup in the city in the span of less than a year. Their prices at the time were competitive with Second Cups, but they've progressively raised them over the years as they gained market share. To me, this kind of predatory corporate policy was despicable, and so I've boycotted them for my entire life. If a sitcom show has a laugh track, it's not a funny show. Black suits are appropriate for funerals and formal dinners, not day-to-day -day office work. Milk does not go in before the tea bag and water. Pop versus soda. I absolutely hate ketchup with a passion. People normally go crazy when they find out. Wear sunscreen. Thanks for watching until the end. What's your extremely strong opinion? Please share it with us in the comments below. Then be sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you know when our next video is up. For more videos like this one right now, please stop by our channel. Thanks again and see you next time.